This video will discuss spontaneous processes in thermodynamics. So a spontaneous process is an irreversible process which occurs without any energy input into the system. So for an isolated system, the change in the internal energy during some process is going to be the heat plus the work. So let's look at two situations here. Let's look at a gas which fills up half of the container. So half of the container is gas, half of it is vacuum, and there's a partition which separates the gas and the vacuum. So this is an isolated system, so there's no uh, change in energy from the outside of this system. Now let's say what happens when we remove this partition? Well we instinctively know that this gas is going to expand to fill out the entire container. So this gas is going to expand into the vacuum. Now the vacuum is defined as the absence of gas, so there's no pressure here. So the external pressure that our gas is expanding against is zero. So there's not any work that's being done during this expansion event, so there's no work. And the vacuum doesn't have any energy, it's the absence of particles, so there's no heat to transfer to or take away from the vacuum. So no heat transfer occurs in this process. So the total energy change that occurs during this process of the gas expanding into a vacuum is zero. Yet we know that the gas spontaneously expands into the vacuum, but it will not spontaneously create a vacuum out of itself again. So we know that this process is irreversible, but since the change in energy is zero, why is it irreversible? What is it that's defi the defining characteristic of this system that causes this process to occur in this direction but not in the reverse. So similarly we can look at uh, the bottom situation here. We have two gases, so helium on the left, neon on the right, both at pressures where they're behaving virtually ideally. So if we have a partition between them and they're perfectly segregated on the left and on the right, then we remove the partition, then the two gases will both expand to fill the entire volume of the system and they'll mix thoroughly. There will be no time at which the, it returns to being all helium on one side and all neon on the other. It's thoroughly mixed uh, from there on in, until the end of time. So why is it that this system, again, um, it's not doing any work to mix together. It's not, there's no heat that occurs from mixing. These are ideal gas particles. So what is it that is the defining characteristic that results in both of these being irreversible are irreversible directional processes in these isolated systems. And the answer to that is that there's an increasing disorder. There's far more ways to arrange the gas spread all throughout the entire container than the gas partitioned into half of it. There's far more ways to arrange helium and neon particles such that they're intermixed with one another than there are ways to arrange them such that they're segregated onto one side or the other. So qualitatively, we understand that there's some kind of increasing disorder in isolated systems, which is the hallmark of these spontaneous processes, these irreversible processes which occur without any energy input. So our next video, we're going to take a look at putting this on a more quantitative basis into uh, what is the actual metric that we use to describe disorder in a system, and that will come to be defined as the entropy.